How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client is coming from California to get a cover-up done. And the project that we're doing is his whole inner sleeve in the next two days. We have a lot to cover up, so with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go! A lot going on on your arms. A lot. So what are we going to do? Oh, it's kind of, it'll be the same. Okay, okay, so okay. make it easy, no? Okay, I mean, if anything, I can just like uh, give you a whole nother tattoo with this concept. Se va a ser fácil. Okay. Va a ser fácil. And then under the chin, le podemos dar un necklace. Yeah. Just how it has it right there. Yeah. Which it would be like la continuación del, del calendario. Okay. So. All right, I'm ready. Jesus. El Jesus. I'm surprised they don't have a middle name. No, no. Usually uh, Hispanics, you know Especially what I mean? back then. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Hispanics always have a middle name. Do you have a middle name, Kenny? No, no tengo nada de eso, No? Sí. Dios santo. What is going on? I, I used to hate it because in Mexico, you know, like kids are evil and stuff. Oh, everywhere. Kids are evil everywhere. But in Mexico, man, having an American name. Ooh. Ah, ¿cómo te llamas? Kevin. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, eventually, me quiero tapar todo. Then I'll uh, mm -hmm. use my legs for my kids' portraits. Oh, portraits nice. Also, switch. I remember you saying that. Yeah, like, yeah. switching your, your kids' portraits from your arm to... To the leg, yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. Did you shave? Yeah. I feel like I'm not shaving yeah, anything. No, you're good. Yeah, yeah, no, I shave. Oh, it, you're so. shaving skin, bro. Let's get done the tattoo. That's it. I'm shaving off the, the whole tattoo already. Yeah, yeah, th my, my habits, yeah, habits. Yeah. <laughs> You know what you remind me of? Uh, One of those, uh, the homies from uh, the los little, monitos. Los Monitos de los Homies, you know? The homie. <laughs> yeah, I used to get on my food city. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be covering up today. The whole project, we're gonna be doing the whole inner sleeve. And um, this one is pretty faded, it's not really a problem. This one, I feel like is the, the one that requires the most attention. This one is a little bit more, I would almost consider it as a clean canvas, to be honest. But since this one has a lot going on, that's what we're gonna focus on today. And um, tomorrow we're gonna connect it. So here we go, we're gonna put on the stencil. All right, perfect, let me see. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. What a day, let's do it. Let's get this day started. This commercials, man, stop it. Just give me vibes. Oh, that's the jam. Oye, cantinero, sirveme otra copa, por favor. Quiero estar borracho. Yo quiero sentirme de lo peor. All right, what do we have here? It looks like I'm doing a cover up today. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little, just a little one. Mm. Today's a uh, cover up. I'm gonna be doing this Aztec Princess with the uh, Aztec Calendar headdress here. My needle selection today is uh, 11 Curve Mag to do backgrounds and stuff. As far as the face, I'm probably gonna be using a 14 round liner or uh, the mag, who knows. But I am gonna be using a seven round liner for the little details on the headdress and the necklace, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Um, but I have a feeling that on the headdress, I might end up using a 3 one liner. So uh, it all depends on how my 7 one liner is uh, performing today. So I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, you know what, the, th the, the lines are way too thick for the headdress. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tattoo until I get to the headdress. I'll figure out if I need a 3 one liner or a 7 one liner. And if I do need a 3 one liner, uh, I'm probably gonna ask Kenny if I can have a 3 one liner later. Think about it. I'll, think about it, bro, think about it. You want me to buy it off of you? If I finish early with it, I'll let you 
<laughs> Only if I use the same one you're using. If not, I don't want it. And um, yeah, if you saw my video from last week, I'm using uh, Ambition. They're so sick. Drop, in, uh, drop a comment if you bought some uh, cart boxes after you watched my video. Let me know and let me know what you think if you already tried them. All right, here we go. So a quick little update, um, based on what I'm looking at, what I'm trying to do here is tackle all the contrast or the, I'm trying to tackle all the dark areas uh, to help me navigate through it a lot easier. My approach that I'm gonna be taking right now to make sure that I don't go too dark is applying all the areas that have contrast in it. So under the, the eyebrows, the eyes, the, the eyelids, under the nose, the mouth, and then slowly working my way to my lightest tones. That way I can, I can see the full thing and say, okay, cool, I can go darker, I can go lighter. But definitely this side of the face is gonna be my, my brightest part, and I'm gonna make this my darkest. So I'm gonna make it look like the, the light source is coming from this corner, and it's hitting this side of the face. And then this side is basically the shadow part of the face. I wake up every minute with a fever dreams. I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be. I work like I got vision, I don't need to see. I'm picking mind over matter, I believe in me. I need to find more hours in the day to breathe. Need to find more power in the way I be. And when my mind turns out with the painful scenes, I need to scream out loud, I can't stop me. I want to be the greatest like Rocky. You know I leave them all hate like a hobby. I'm out here making moves like a lobby. And if you ain't with me, it's you are see. I got my mind on the facts, I'm a python. Grab what I like real fast, choke until I have everything. I attack everything that I lack. On my own worst enemy Only if I let it be I can control anything If I can just think carefully I control my destiny
How do you feel? Four million views, bro. On TikTok. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna read you some comments. See what? All right. The before and after is insane. I hope he likes this one because there's no covering that one up. Yeah, ain't no going back on that one. <laughs> and I love it. The <laughs> That's a whole t-shirt, my guy. <laughs> but that's dope as hell. <laughs> Any images after it's healed? Boom. Posting that up right now. Nah, yes, fam, I need the backstory on that dude to go through that twice. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what made you go through it twice, bro? Mistakes. Mistakes. <laughs> yeah, mistakes. <laughs> she done my research the first time. Oh, man. How did you cope with going through this process three days back to back? I just zoned out. <laughs> you just zoned, zoned out, out huh? Yeah. Well, I'm posting the heel picture or the video right now <laughs> for everybody who's asking. Because there's been so many comments about that. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. Look at this. A month healed. A lot of people on my TikTok have been asking me uh, if I can post a heel uh, video of this cover up, full back piece cover up. Uh, it was. 25 hours, right? Yeah. 25 hours, three days back to back. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have you kind of move your shoulders, move your back. Ooh, ooh, yes, sir. Woo! Love it.